Well, greetings and salutations. It's Doc Griffin here, and it's time for your weekly house call. I'm going to respond today to a, a question and suggestion uh, that came in on uh, the last blog I did about three woods, and the blogger asked me to deal with the question of these new drivers that are coming out uh, supposedly lighter weight and you know, thereby supposed to increase club head speed, thereby increasing ball speed and therefore distance. And uh, <clears throat> he mentioned the a particular brand. I won't I'm kind of can't mention brands on here, so uh, we'll just go back and read it and you'll see what brand. Uh, they make a driver that is 310 uh, grams, one that's 290 and one that's 270. Let's compare this to, say, a fairly standard um, driver. Um, I would say a fairly standard driver, you're, you're looking at something that's going to be, um, even if you're using a full 65 gram shaft and a 200 gram head um, and a 50, 52 gram grip, you're looking at 315 to 317 um, grams anyway. Um, so let's look at the difference between what a standard driver would be, let's just say 315, and a lightweight driver at 270. Uh, mathematically speaking, that's 45 uh, grams. Now you can do the math if you want to, 454 grams in, in a pound, 16 ounces a pound, so you can equate uh, 28.38 roughly grams to an ounce. Uh, 45 gram difference in the two drivers comes out to about 1.6 ounces. Uh, 1.6 ounces is not uh, an extravagant amount or a very heavy amount of weight. Um, one of the side effects, side effects of making these drivers with the lighter shafts is now they've made the shaft longer. Uh, said company that we're talking about, the driver shaft is 46 and a quarter inches. And it, but by making the shaft lighter and making the shaft that much longer, it takes the swing weight of the club up to a D6. Um, to put it very succinctly, most amateur golfers are going to find trying to handle a D6 swing weight fairly difficult. Not that it's heavy per se. It's going to give the illusion of being heavier because the, the disbursement of weight from the fulcrum or balance point uh, is greater and more out toward the head. Now granted you will get more feel of where that head is but trying to swing it on the end of a 46 and a quarter inch shaft, well the shaft isn't that long, you add it into the, the uh, amount that the head sits off the floor, the total length of the club, 46 and a quarter. So it gets difficult to control the weight on the end of that stick and deliver it to the club head. Again, we go back to the premise is, is that the lighter club, uh, you're going to generate more club head speed, therefore about more ball speed and therefore more distance. But I go back and I continually harp on this. We have done the testing. It very, 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 and I'll say it again, very rarely have I seen people generate more club head speed with the longer shaft. But let's even say that you did. The chances of you hitting the ball in the sweet spot are going to be substantially lower. And again, we go back for the first half inch that you miss, you've lost five yards. So, so what if you picked up three miles an hour of club head speed and you can't hit it in the center of the club face? What good does it do? None. So we go back to, let me use an example. Uh, I'm going to give you a wiffle ball bat and then I'm going to give you a baseball bat. Now the baseball bat that I'm going to give you is the right baseball bat for you. I'm not giving you one too heavy, not giving you one too long, too light, too short, whatever. I'm giving you one that is appropriate for you. 
Take the plastic wiffle ball bat, take the baseball bat, swing them. Which do you think you just swung the fastest? Right, it wasn't the lighter one. And if you were to hit a baseball with it, guess which one's going to go further? The one that's correct. The other consideration is in making shafts as light as they're making them, you have to use less material and you have to use denser material and you have to do certain um, overlay and wrapping properties. Um, at some point, uh, you get into these shafts, it's not going to be appropriate for some people uh, in the, the, over, uh, the wrapping patterns that they have in order to create tip stability. Uh, may not be appropriate for some of the lower, slower club head swingers. Um, not saying it is, I'm not saying it is, I'm just saying it's perhaps. So it has to be a matter of getting into the fitting. Um, and I, I go back to this thing about the longer shafts and, and distance and accuracy. Ask yourself, which do you hit more accurate? A pitching wedge, sand wedge, or, or your driver? Chances are your answer is the shorter club. So again, 46 and a quarter inches is just too long for the average golfer to handle. I mean, the guys on tour, uh, they're not even playing shafts that long. The average length on tour, again, 44 to 44 and a half. Why? Control. Hitting the ball in the center of the club face. Um, my evaluation is the lighter, weight, longer drivers are not uh, producing substantially longer or even any longer uh, shots, certainly no more control. We go back to what's the most important thing. Get what's right for you. Get the right length, get the right loft, get the right golf ball. If you get all of this correct, you're going to maximize your distance and you're not going to have to keep going out and trying to find some magic uh, panacea that's going to suddenly uh, boom, the light's going to come on and suddenly you're going to be 10 to 15 yards longer. Um, it's really nothing magical about it to find the right length to where you hit the ball in the center of the club face, to find the right loft of the club head that goes with your swing dynamics to give you the right launch angle and then find the right ball that has the right uh, spin rate and playing properties that it comes off the club face with the greatest uh, ball speed which is going to equate to distance. So the valuation and answer is no lighter drivers are not really producing longer ball flight. Well that's it for me today. Appreciate your uh, support again for the swingsurgeon.com Remember, keep it vertical, and better golf is just a fit away.